Next to going straight to the Bible text because you know the passage that you're looking for, the most common use of the BLB is its word search. This is primarily meant for when you want to go somewhere in the Bible but can't remember where it is, or don't know the exact reference. It's also a pretty handy way of looking up, say, all the passages about Melchizedek, even if you don't know how to spell Melchizedek. While the word search can be very powerful, let's start with the basics. Let's type in the word love into any of the several BLB search boxes we provide. This brings up the word search results page, which features a number of tabs, just like the Bible Tools button does. We'll focus on the primary tab for now. This is the most basic results of your search. Here we see that love occurs 310 times in 280 verses in the KJV. Clicking on the You are currently reading button and choosing a new translation will change these results slightly. We can also get a preview of how these numbers would change by consulting the search results in other versions section to the right. The number appending to each translation is the number of verses that result rather than the number of times the search term appears, since it may appear multiple times in a single verse. Clicking on one of these abbreviations will also change the version that you are searching. In the column below the primary tab, you'll see all the verses that result from your search, listed canonically, that is, listed in the order in which they would appear in a standard Protestant Bible. We fit 50 word search results on a single page, but for searches for more common words like love, a single page is not enough. So at the bottom of every page for searches that return more than 50 results, the BLB provides links to more results and tells you where in the Bible those results will be found.